Hey guys, so I literally just walked in the door from my first class, yay! So I thought I would do, well technically it's not my first class, but I'll get into that. This video might be a little vloggity, um, out for the day type video. I've never vlogged standing before, so we'll see how that goes. But, first official day of school, and I thought I'd show you my outfit. A lot of you wanted to see what I was going to wear on my first day. It's not going to be that inspirational. I don't dress to impress um, on the first day, let alone for school in general. I like to be comfortable and cute and cool. Um, in case you are new to my channel, um, I go to a community college. It's right down the street from me. It's about a 15, 13 minute walk if I'm power walking, which I normally am. Um, it's about a 13 minute walk from my house, so no matter the weather, I have to walk. I don't own a car. I don't drive. Well, I have my license, but I don't own a car. so. It's really convenient living next to the college. I really love it. I really don't want to move. My lease is up in November. I'm still thinking about it. Anyway, so that's my um, issues addressing my wardrobe for school is it has to be comfortable and cool enough for me to walk in to and from class. I'm always the one that comes into the classroom all sweaty. I'm like fanning myself with my papers. Um, and I'm really sweaty right now and I apologize. Um, I would have my AC on, but it comes from this lovely little bed right here and it'd be really loud for the video. So I'm not gonna turn on my AC yet until after this video. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm always a sweaty one and people are looking at me like, what? Today I actually felt really good in my outfit. This outfit makes me feel really confident. Um, it's also very comfortable. You might look at it and be like, why does that make you feel good? It's just a shirt, shorts and boots. But it's just one of those outfits that make me feel great and I love it. So yeah, this is what I wear to school on a daily basis. My favorite time to dress for school is in the fall because I can layer and stuff because it's cold. Um, but I still get hot walking in class even in the winter um, just because I power walk. I'm a crazy woman. I don't know. Ooh, drink. Mm. So the shirt I believe is from Shein Side. I actually don't even remember it. I just did the video showcasing this shirt and some other things from them. I'm pretty sure it's that. If it's not, it's wrong weight, and I'm not sure which one. I will leave an annotation, obviously, for what it, for who it's from. Um, the shorts are the same that you saw in my vlog yesterday. Um, and actually, t I'm filming this on the day I post that vlog. My first official day is Tuesday. I'm supposed to, I'm gonna post this video on Wednesday, so it'll be one day behind, but you get the idea. But these shorts are the same ones from the vlog that I did, just from Forever 21, super casual acid wash. A little high-waisted, but I just wore the shirt down because I like it that way and it's more comfortable for me. The shirt is black, so it's not the best to walk in the sun in. Um, but it's really, really lightweight, like it's really flowy. And yeah, I love Metallica. In case you couldn't see what's on it, I'll get a little closer. It has Metallica on it. Pretty awesome. I love the colors and everything. I do love Metallica a lot. So then I have on my boots. I should probably lower the camera. Hold on a second. I don't know if that's any better, but there I have my boots um, from Plunder. I don't remember what they're called, but um, they have like this stuff in here. As you can see, it's really cool. They're very um, booty, I don't know. I like them because they're high and they cover most of my calves, which are my insecure point of my body. My legs in general, I'm insecure about, so um, the longer, well, I do wear short shorts, but you know how it goes. <laughs> but I like that it doesn't, it cuts off like mid calf so it doesn't look, make it my calves look like humongous. Now I'm gonna talk about jewelry. I got on a lot of rings. Um, this one's from Kitsy Lane, my little boutique. I will have linked below. This one's from Shop Lately, as is this one. Again, my link will be down below. And then this was a gift, so sorry, you can't get that one. And then this one's just from San Fran, sterling silver band, simple. I never take it off, no matter what I do. This one's always on my hand. Um, this one has been a usual ring as well. And then for my wrist arm candy, it's just a watch from Target, a silver watch and a spike bracelet from Shop Lately as well. Really casual, I wore bright, um, not bright, a uh, red lip with a little bit of eyeliner. Um, I wasn't planning on doing the red lip, but I was like, I'm gonna keep it cash and not wear the lip, but I thought it just kind of pulled it together. And I wore these sunglasses from Flunder. Apparently the pin fell out of these sunglasses, so I'm gonna be very careful with them. That was hilarious. So I wore these sunglasses today. Can you tell? Can you tell I'm not gonna move? I love these sunglasses, but now they're broken. So what, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Um, 
So just a quick little update about school and stuff. You don't have to stay watching if you won't, we're only here for the outfit. So I kind of did it first, even though I was still pretty chatty and I apologize um, that I'm kind of chatty in this video. But um, I just got back from biopsych. I am a psych major. A lot of people ask what I study in school. It's my fifth year in community college. And um, yes, I do struggle with that fact a little bit. Um, I'm 23 and I'm still at community college. I haven't even transferred to a four year yet. And it's hard, you know, but everybody has their own life path and their own journey. Not everybody can finish school in four years. It took me five years to figure out what I wanted to do and now I'm so passionate about it. So I would do it all over again if I had to. I have no regrets about that. I may do a whole school inspiration video, also a video on how to find your passion, um, how to find what you wanna do with your life. I'm not a pro at it. I believe I was always meant to do psychology just because of the person I am. I feel like it's my calling. Not everybody has a calling, but you wanna find a job that you're interested in. So I may do a whole video on that. Let me know if you want something like that, a more like, um, inspirational video not to feel bad if you're still going through college and in your mid-20s it's okay I will do a whole video about that so enough about that I am in biopsychology this semester with a lab and it's basically the scientific study of biological behavior so um, you know psychology is a study of behavior and this class kind of links the whole brain in with why we do things um, how the brain controls all of our actions, our thoughts, our morals. My favorite chapter we're going to go over is probably going to be on psychopaths. Um, seeing if their brain really is different from the rest of the world and why serial killers exist. Um, that's my favorite subject to study in psychology are serial killers. I love serial killers and learning about them and I just am obsessed with learning about them and stuff. So. Um, I do, I am reading a book called Without Conscious, oh it's right here, it's a totally random video, oh my gosh. But it's called Without Conscious, so I'm reading this right now, it's this disturbing world of psychopaths among us, it's written by a doctor, and it's really, really interesting. Um, it's more on the scientific side of the brain and um, serial killers and stuff like that, so it's really fascinating. I highly recommend that book if you can get your hands on it. I'm also in a history class, and I'm not, I'm so bad at history, I don't know why. I. I'm great at math. I hate math, but I can do it. History, I can't wrap my head around. I know it's so important, but I only like a few po points of history. I like World War II, learning about that and the Holocaust, and the Donna Party. Of course, I like all the disturbing things in, in the past, but um, so I'm kind of struggling right now already with this history class. It's like a 15-page Word document lecture for week one. I read the first paragraph and wanted to die. I don't know how I'm going to pull through this. I just don't like history, that's why I waited till last minute to do because I'm so bad at history. Oh my god. And as you guys know from the vlog, I'm in an advanced circuit training course. It's basically a cardio course, which is what I need to improve on most. Um, you know, I'm pretty strong with my strength training. My legs are really strong. I can do squats for days. Um, I can do like 10 push-ups for a girl, like full push-ups, and that's pretty impressive to me. So I'm strong, but I'm not fit in the sense of cardio. Um, so I did go for a run yesterday for the first time this whole summer basically since like June or July or June, May or June. Um, so basically he's going to help us improve our mile times and just use all the machines in the room and stuff, um, which I had that class yesterday and that one I'm really looking forward to as well um, because I love staying in shape obviously, I love working out and so I'm really excited for that class too. So now that I have places to go, I can do outfits of the week videos again. Yay, I know you guys love those videos. Um, I love filming them because they're so easy. I can just hop on camera for two seconds, film the outfit, no speaking, just set to music, and then I can show you all my outfits for the week. I obviously won't include Mondays and Wednesdays because I have my aerobics class and <laughs> you don't need to see what I wear to work out. Um, nothing fancy, nothing fancy. But um, I can show you what I wear Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, for my academic classes um, and show you guys what I wear because I really like filming them and I know you guys really like outfits of the week versus outfits of the days like this one. Um, so yeah. Sorry this video was so long. I just really wanted to chat about school. I don't know. I don't really have many people to talk about school with so I thought I should tell you guys what my school life's gonna be like this semester. Um, not that you guys care. Let me know if you do care. I don't know. Um, 
But yeah, it's a little late now because it's already in the video and you've already sat through it. So thumbs up to you that you've sat through this whole rambly out for the day vlog. So that is it for this out for the day. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.